what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you a little rope inspection. Um, stuff you really have to take into consideration. Okay, this is a old, my old climber rope. Now, I used to tape the ends, but you can kind of see it don't look the best to it. Now, I still climb with this, though. It's a very, I mean, it's only like a year, year and a half old. But I'm going to show you little things to look for. Now, granted, you see all this right here called puffs, or I just call them sprigs. But most of the time, these these happen and this is like with me our natural crotch rig I don't use anything to protect and you and pond trees and um or other trees this happens it's for and it frays sometimes and it does a lot of things but what you want to search for is things like these make sure it don't touch the core because see this this rope right here is lava New England ropes makes this rope and in the inside let me see if I can find a better piece for you um again let me see if you can see the inside but in the inside if you can look in there look a little bit it's got a core in there it's like they call it the magma and as long as that's not affected most of the time the rope is still good you can repair it um, if you do your own splicing you can re-splice or however y'all might do it but you just want to check for things like that you want to d definitely know if you if you loading this on track or um, slings blocks and different things like that different kind of rigging mechanism you want to make sure even though this is a specific climbing rope right here but if you have rigging rope you just check for little things make sure that the surface is even if it's smooth just any little inconsistency in the diameter you want to take all that into consideration and you expect your ropes often especially if you use something for dropping big 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 pieces you want to know okay just like see what my split tail right here you can see you can see the burn on it just from the rope you can kind of see that and see you want to check for stuff like that because if you now this was new when I use it so it's still good but you gotta check for stuff like that and some people might throw it out once it gets like that but it's just, it just comes with the territory so I don't um, I don't trip so to speak and you can see inside of this now this is milking this is what milking does see once the rope um, the outer shell this is from use um, the inner the inner part of the rope the magma part comes out like that and all you do is just cut it I hadn't cut this yet still been messing around but you want to cut that plus I needed for y'all to see this but this is called milking so if you ever see that terminology milking this way it does when the inside of the rope it's kind of sheds its outer coil and you just all you just snip that part off right there snip it off tape it burn it you good all right now here's a new rope you're gonna see a big difference now it's 150 foot right here of lava. I probably climbed twice on it. Most of the trees I like to do. Now what we have here is an eye splice. Um, you can see a splice right there. Got a little um, rubber band on it just to keep the carabiner locked in right here. But it makes a big difference though when you um, get a new rope like this. See it's a very nice rope. Um, looks very good compared to that one right there if you can see see all the dirt and grime in this one you can see the newness you can almost feel it you can see that I love this rope it's nice but that's what I use I got big trees I still mess around 25 30 footers I'll go ahead and use that but I'll show y'all I've got a video check out my one of a couple a couple videos down the line I'm gonna show you guys who use rope like this how strong this rope is I'm gonna use myself just to show you um, especially for first time climbers are real scared of heights and scared of falling they don't trust their equipment but I'm going to show you why you can trust this rope when you got the rope especially if it's new like this and you took care of it you definitely will see that this is strong rope and you can trust it especially if you're going to be climbing in like a 80, 100 foot 150 foot tree I don't know now I'm out east um, I'm not out west but I've heard those trees get up 300 foot big old trees we don't have too much stuff like that around North Carolina that needs to be taken down but I hadn't climbed anything that big but trust and believe in you with a rope like this if I had enough line I climb it and trust it all the way up and down but that's what you want to expect just anything but definitely things like this they don't cut the rope um, whenever you climb in a tree turn your chainsaw off hit the um hit the um can't even think of the word now I'm talking so so fast hit your um chain bar break chain break it'll stop the chain from moving even if you hit the gas by mistake just hit the chain brake stop it and you'll be good and if anything it might snag a little bit but it won't tear it up now I've cut this rope probably two or three times that's why it's so short it was like this one over here 
But um, that's what you want to look for. You on with Tree Boy for life. Get back with me later. We got to climb this next video. We're going to climb in the tree. Like I said, I'm going to show you what it's like to be up there and why you can trust your um, equipment. So get back with me. I'll see you later. Peace.